Here's the latest on Xox.com. Just two months after Catalyst Pharmaceuticals received a rarely issued refuse to file letter from the FDA, the biotech has faced more hurdles with the regulatory agency. The FDA is now requiring that the company conduct more trials to test the safety of its rare disease drug candidate, FERDAPS. Hello, I'm Sarah Massey, life science blogger and webinar moderator for Xox.com, and welcome to this edition of Xox Vitals. The drug is designated to treat a rare neuromuscular disease called LEMS. The FDA previously gave FERDAPS a breakthrough designation, and the drug has also been granted orphan drug status. In one phase three clinical trial of the drug involving 38 patients with LEMS, FERDAPS met both of its primary endpoints of improving patient reported and physician rated symptoms of the disease. The treatment was significantly more effective than the placebo while being safe and well tolerated in most patients. In February of this year, another late stage trial conducted by Catalyst was labeled as not sufficiently complete by the FDA. The regulator is now requiring that the drug maker submit positive results from an additional well-controlled study along with their new drug application for FERDAPS. The FDA is reportedly open to discussing a study design that would satisfy this requirement, but they also want Catalyst to perform several more short-term toxicology studies of the drug. These new studies will not only be financially costly for the biotech, but will also delay the drug's release on the market. Subscribe to the Xox YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xox.com for more information on this story and others like it in the life science industry.